Okay, solve each quadratic formula by using the square roots. On all of these numbers, we don't have a BX term, do we? So we're gonna isolate the X squared and then take a square root. So we're gonna move over the four, subtract four. That's gonna give me negative three X squared equals negative 162. Then I'm gonna divide by negative three and I'm gonna get X squared equals two. This will go 54 times. I think I did it right. Now then you take the square root and you're gonna get, this is gonna turn into what? Three times three times three times two. So I can pull two threes out. This is gonna end up equaling X equal three square root of six. On your test, I believe it's perfect squares, okay? This problem right here, move over the three. I'm gonna get 100 A squared equals 64. Divide both sides by 100. And remember, these are perfect squares, right? Then square root this, the hundreds cross out. So I'm gonna get A equals, and this is plus or minus, remember. Plus or minus eight over 10. And the eight over 10 will simplify to four over five, won't it? So you move this number over, you divide, and then you square root. That's all you're doing. Okay, right here, we're gonna move over the eight. We're gonna have seven R squared equals and if you subtract 8, you get 84. Divide by 7, divide by 7. You'll get R squared equals to 12. Square root both sides. On this one, this is uh, this is not a perfect square, so we're going to write down the factors. 2, 2 times 3. Circle the 2, so I'm going to get R equals 2 square root of 3. Plus or minus, right? Over here, we're going to move over the 3. Subtract 3. I get 5B squared equals 400. Divide by 5, divide by 5. I get B squared equals 80. Then I'm going to square root. This is going to be, wow, that's a lot of twos. I'm just going to put 16 times 5. And the square root of 16 is 4. So it's going to be plus or minus 4 square root of 5. On your test, I'm pretty sure these come out to be perfect squares like this one.